Hi guys, it's Alvisa here, and so today I'm sort of doing a bit of a test video. Basically, I am having issues with OVS and the frame rate and just the quality of the video. So this video is going to be completely recorded in OBS, just so that I can see and gauge what you guys think of the quality. One of my biggest goals is to make the best videos I can with, well, basically, oh, <laughs> I still have to fix that button, with, well, what I have. So, with Fraps, I had pretty good frame rate and fairly good quality, but with OBS, I still get quite a bit of lag. Now, I've tried to optimize it the best that I can, but even just then, I saw the lag and it's kind of depressing. But for this video, I am actually going to be showing you guys how to do custom NPCs. Now, I did try to do a bit of that in the stream, but it kind of got out of hand with all the talking and all the fun. So I'm actually going to be showing you guys with OBS and how to do some very basic custom NPC style sort of stuff. Now, first thing we're going to do is we're going to want to make an NPC. Now I've put everything in default Minecraft textures because it's just easier to make out the tools. And it kind of gets a bit annoying to look around it. So we're going to make an NPC. So this is the NPC wand. There is also an ent, the NPC cloner wand, the NPC pather, and this whole stone. This one's empty. There's also the teleporter, the scripter, the mounter, and this um, redstone block, location quest block, and a border. I don't know how to use those three, and I don't really use these ones, because I don't understand, like scripting is incredibly complicated, and teleporting I don't quite know what it would be used for. I mean, let's make it. Let's start by making an NPC, and I'll just go over these. So we've got it. I'm gonna just. You know what? This is kind of hard to pronounce for me. So we're gonna call you Gray. And for me, this it automatically comes up as Texture's Human Male Steve. I don't have any of the default um, textures. They come out of, if I go to select, they all show up in here, but the only ones I have, like I have the goddess statues, I don't have some of the default ones which are made to like automatically appear. Now did I do the right? Oh, no, 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 I don't want to delete them. Now we have Joy here, whose name is Gray, and that's basically how you would set them if you have them in the texture folder in the custom NPCs mod. However, there's other ways to do this. Do you also have player? So let's say I put in Aphmau because Aphmau is really cool and people love Aphmau. So if I put in Aphmau, the lag a bit, and then you get Aphmau. That's a cute skin. She seems to have a Christmas skin. So now we have Gray as Aphmau, and it works with any like persons and names. So for example, we don't have to do Aphmau. Let's try. I think it's Sky. Does Minecraft. Is that how he pronounced, spells his? Let's see. If I spelled it wrong, yeah, if I spelled it wrong, it comes up as Steve, so I did do it wrong. So I don't think that's what his name is. Let's see here. Your pal Ross. I think pal is spelled wrong. Nope, there we go. It's what, you have to make sure that it's spelled properly. I don't know how I spelled Sky's name wrong, That's I, I, I don't even care. But you can just put in a player's name and it'll show up. However, if you do it this way and the player is not wearing the skin you want, for example, you don't want Ross the, the cute squirrel as a princess, you want Ross as the narwhal, you're going to have to get the Ross narwhal skin and you can either place it into your texture folder or you can get the URL. Now, if I just put URL, he turns into Steve, which is interesting because I don't actually have the Steve in the folder, but that's what it automatically does. So we're going to go and I'm going to go grab a skin. So I'm going to grab, let's see here, let's see here, I'm going to grab this skin. Now I'm going to do two different skins. This is the first one and I use Imgur because it's the easiest. This is the skin that showed up in one of the episodes. And now we have Gray, who has this skin. Now, this skin is not like, say, my skin where I have this bow. This bow is actually uh, part of an HD skin. 
Now, you can use HD skins with the more player models mod, but you can't really put them into default Minecraft, and if you're playing with people who don't have HD skin, like the more player models, they won't be able to see that skin. But you can also use HD skins on custom NPCs. So we're going to make another person. This one's name is Leonardo. Again, with the glitchy, there's no actual file named Steve texture. And we're going to go to URL. Now, let's see here. If I grab, let's say, this, obviously, is not Leonardo. This is Lucian skin. And his most HD mark is the, thanks for turning away, is his, oh, now on the ground, is, well, his little eye bruise. You can see some pixels. Now, unlike my bow, it's a lot smoother because it's on a main layer. They come off as a lot smoother when they're on a solid block because, of course, Minecraft runs in pixels, so the bow doesn't come out right. Now, I'll actually show that skin as well. Let's make one more NPC. This one's called Blaze. And I'm going to grab my bow skin, the one I am currently have on, and just show you what it looks like on an NPC. Now, if you know how to make HD skins, they're pretty easy to use. But if you don't, that's perfectly fine. You don't really need them. But as you can see, I'm just gonna have her not move because it's annoying. So don't, so, so don't move. Don't move, Blaze. But as you can see, it sort of clips in various areas where it overlaps with edges. Because the pixels over here are supposed to be replicated, it will obviously be a bit glitchy because they overlap. And of course, they add some sides right here, and it's a bit fuzzy. Now I know that Afmau uses HD skins, but she's using a different version, and I'm pretty sure that she can custom code things, so I would not suggest doing HD skins unless you're okay with how it'll turn out, but I mean, if you put more detail into it, I'm pretty sure it would look just fine, however, I, I don't, I don't put that much detail into it. Except for, except for, uh, this bruise, this bruise is pretty- STOP TURNING! It's okay, it's, 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 yeah. Now, one thing that I will note is, we'll go to Blaze for this. Now, Blaze is using, of course, my texture, but if I actually put in my username, I'm currently, it's not working. Oh dear. I think it, yeah. So, I don't know why that's not work. Well, it is working, but it isn't working. See, I'm using this URL skin. Now, I'm pretty sure... Let me just double check this, because sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. I just put my name. Yeah, so because I am on with this thing here, the skin that shows up is the skin in more player models. But... If, for example, it's for someone, say, not using, like, they use more player models, but you're on a different game, I'm pretty sure it'll come up as what skin they have set to them, because this is not the skin I have set on my character, this is just the skin that I have using more player models. Okay, so now that we've gone over this, here are the tools, these are the tools that I don't really know what to do with, like, this is Teleporter. Mirror, Nether, Overworld, Spirit World, The End, Torment, and Wyvern Lair. Those are the worlds that exist in my game. Now, I'm pretty sure if I click the teleport to, it will send the NPC to that place. Um, I don't have any nether portals, and I have never loaded up the nether, and this would take too long, but I'm pretty sure it would just teleport the NPC to that location, because there is a different kind of role, I think it's a role, where, it, yeah, the transporter who I think will teleport you to- yeah, transport teleports you to a location. Okay, so that's what that does. The scripter is way more complicated. I don't know how to use any of this, so if you guys want to learn how to do that, I'm sorry, I don't know how. And the mounter, I think... Huh, I think, let's see here, let's go with... Na, 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 na. Entity horse. Mount. Now there's a horse on her head. That was not actually what I meant to do, but that's what the mounting does. It puts a horse or, I guess, any... And now the horse has a chicken on it, and the chicken fell down, because that, that, okay, okay. One second, I'm just gonna kill it. <laughs> really quickly. 
Cause it's it's in the way. Sorry, horse. I didn't actually mean to. I, it's, there we go. Sorry, that sounded so terrible. But uh, yeah, you can mount animals, and you can mount them onto animals. I mean, I'm still not quite sure how to use this. I I, I just don't know. I just don't know. But I wouldn't I wouldn't use it unless you actually know how. So I'm gonna take those out of my hand here, and now we have the mod cloner, the NPC pather. The NPC wand and this crystal. Now the crystal is pretty simple. It just picks stuff up. If you're in creative mode, it will pick it up and you'll place it and you'll have a duplicate. Um, if you go let's see here slash game mode zero zero zero. There's no nine. And you s select Leonardo. That one gets used up, and when you place it, well, it's gone forever and ever and ever and ever. Now. We're going to, now that we've gotten rid of that, we're going to path one of these guys. First thing you're going to want to do, let's path uh, Leonardo, who looks like Lucian. And you go into the AI, movement, edit. S now it's automatically set to standing, you can do wandering, to which if you set to wandering, eventually he'll walk around and you can push him. So there we go, she's walking away from me, bye. He doesn't like me because I pushed him, and he's just going to go. He's gonna go everywhere between, I think it's 10, a 10 by 10 block radius that he's set to. So now he's uh, going over there. But if I click here and I click Leonardo, I click edit and I click exit, he will teleport right back to where he was before. And there he goes off again. Now if I set him to move with path, he's gonna come right here and he's staring at me. And he's not really moving, but you can still push him around. Push, push. But he won't go anywhere. What you have to do is you have to click on him, it sets one X and Y, you go to another location, it's another X and Y, and now he walks there. Look at him walking kind of sideways. That's one of the glitchy things about the NPCs is they kind of, they walk on whatever angle would allow a player to walk, but they do it without any sort of like personality. So say I'm walking, you can see I kind of have an uneven, sort of, it looks like a player, but I can't also walk sideways like like this and be solid. He can and get stuck on things like this, which was issues that I had with uh, Sparrow where he would uh, climb up things. But yeah, it's not the easiest thing to use. I would suggest if you're going to path an NPC to walk somewhere, to go through some of the settings. For example, there are the normal animation. You can make him sneak. Now he's creeping. I was scraping, yeah. And then there's also the aiming where it looks like he's trying to shoot you. But it also looks kind of creepy. And now he's walking on the block. See, I never clicked on these. But he's going to walk over them anyways. I don't know what that is. I swear it's supposed to be. It's kind of like a smart pathing thing. It just decides that this is the best way to go. Even though I did a straight line. And he's going to dance his way over there. But yeah, you can go and mess with all the settings. I'm just going to click into the air. That's another way you can get to the NPCs if they're near you. You can just click into the air, but there's backtracking. You can make it so that he doesn't stop and pause. And you can also make it so that he doesn't stop on interaction. Meaning if you were to click on him, like right now, not with anything in your hand. This is, he says hello, Lavisa, and he just keeps walking. He doesn't care. He's not going to stop walking. He, he's going some places and he, he's not interested. Now, let's see here, if I go back to Leonardo, because we're playing with him right now, because he looks like Lucian and it's fun. We can adjust his walk speed, so we can make him really freaking slow. Let's make him really freaking slow. Now, it might take him a moment to walk, look how slow that is. He's kind of creeping, like, go over here. Donna. Donna. <laughs> He's just slowly moving, and it's really... And of course now he's already going backwards because who even knows. Like I said, smart pathing. Now let's make him go really fast. Let's go with nine. Now he's running. Oh gosh, he has to get there really quickly. It's really important. And now he's running all the way back. And then he gets stuck. Because, uh, yeah. Leonard. So we're g I'm just going to leave him to uh, do whatever the heck he's doing. And we're going to move on to the mod... Mod cloner? Yeah, I want to get over the mod cloner and the pather. We've done the pather. It's pretty simple. Now we're going to do the mod cloner. Or mob cloner. I need to pronounce it properly. 
Now I already have a bunch of saved things in here. I've got uh, these people got Tank, and I've got Jennifer. I have some said it's Puppet. I mean Lucian said it's Pupper. I don't know why he said it's Pupper, but he said it's Pupper. Um, we've got a Gale Puppet. We've got a Albion Guard. That's spoilers. I can't show you that. Um, I got some other stuff. Let's go with the Red Bandit. I'm gonna spawn a Red Bandit. Here's a Red Bandit. This is one Red Bandit. And I can save him, which I already have done, so I don't need to. I can also go over here, and where's the Red Bandit? I've already lost it. Oh my gosh. There's another one. Now obviously they both flash. The reason is, it's because it considers them to be the same entity. They're two separate ones, but they have the same sort of settings and stop being creepy, go away. He's, he's stuck, he's just stuck. So whenever you edit, edit one of them, they'll both flash. Which is a bit weird, but I mean, it's okay. We're just gonna get rid of these red bandits. And we're going to put with the monoclone a bit more. You can also summon things like bats again, like before. There one goes. Um, I don't know what the, I don't have anything on server side, so I'm not gonna mess with that. Oh, uh, here's a, a creeper. It won't spawn though, because I'm in peaceful right now. Because mobs were spawning so much that I, I couldn't really run the game properly. Now, I'm going to show you guys how- oh, yeah. That's the mod cloner. You can also- let's just clone Gray over here really quick. We click on her, we click save, and then we go over here. And we go, or is it, uh, no, no, I'm on the wrong side, gray, spawn. Now we have two. Now I also, I don't have to click on them, I can also click, like, I have to click on the ground with this one though. I had to double check that, because I, I want to make sure I'm giving you guys the right information. Now you have other tabs, I mean you could technically sort them out, like for example, I want to save Leonard to tab two. And now he's running away from me because I'm really scary, okay? And then I want to spawn another one. He won't show up here, but he'll show up here. So I can spawn him, and he'll probably, I don't actually know, I think he'll just duplicate the path. Or I have to set him to one. I can't remember. Let me see, I'm pretty sure he would. It says he would, but he's not. So chances are he has to be pathed as well. I'm just gonna delete him because I do not need two of you glitching into this thing like, He's supposed to come over here, but no, uh, he won't do it. Hey guys, it's Lisa. I just wanted to let you know that because I recorded this video and it went a bit too long, it's broken up into parts. But if you could let me know in the comment section how you like the quality, that would be really great. Sorry that it's uh, in separate parts. The video took over an hour to record, and I didn't want to cut out any information that wasn't important. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good day or night, and see you guys next time. Bye!